this is Glendon with another crazy Craigslist story. Title of this joint, Do You Deliver? Back in the early days of my Craigslist career, I was all about customer service. And trying to facilitate sales, one of the best ways was to deliver heavy stuff. Because typically, you're going to get, say, a young lady who just moved to town or a family and they don't have access to a truck or they're kind of low on funds so they can't actually buy their item and pay delivery charges well back in the day before I wised up I used to make my prices inclusive of delivery as a way to get more sales and they worked great but it also created some problems because a lot of people use that as like well if delivery is included maybe we can use that as a negotiation point yet still get the free delivery and I used to put that in there and that's what makes this video so funny because in the ad and this, you know, if you've done eBay for a number of years or you've sold on Craigslist you know that a lot of people actually do not read the ads so I get this call from this dude hey how you doing I see you have a bedroom set for sale well that's right yeah uh, can you deliver well Delivery is included in the price. The deal is, if you pay, because I believe the bedroom set was $650, you pay $650, that price included delivery. If you wanted to negotiate, delivery came off the table. You know, that's the way to protect myself. And he's like, e uh, really? Uh, how far do you deliver? Once again, it was in the ad. Metro Atlanta and Metro Atlanta and I put the counties and even the mileage cap because you know you put free delivery you can get somebody from like Indiana going like hey well you said free delivery people are like that online I don't know why but they are and I was like yeah Metro Atlanta where do you live he said oh I live in Jonesboro I was like okay yeah we could do that okay um uh what does the bedroom set look like click <laughs> We were going down that slippery slope and it wasn't it wasn't getting any better and we we're starting to pick up speed. I thought that was the end of it. A few weeks later, I had another bedroom set up. I get the phone call. I remember his voice. Hey, 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 how you doing? Uh um I was nosing, can you deliver? And I'm just sitting there like, didn't we have this conversation before? Because I know it sounds strange, but you just remember people from Craigslist. If especially the more absurd, the more crazy that they are. You you remember that. And I was like, didn't we have this conversation before? You're in Jonesboro, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you deliver? Click. A few more weeks later, I had a sofa set up. Get this phone call. And this was early, early days before I learned how to really use Google Voice. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. I uh, was calling about the sofa set and it always he always sounded like he was high it was always that hey 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 stuff and I'm like Lord here we go again uh let me let me guess uh, you won't know if we deliver you live in Jonesboro ah uh, yeah 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 well, uh, yeah you remember me playboy you remember me playboy <laughs> <laughs> click <laughs> I mean, it just was not going anywhere, right? So this is the third phone call from this cat. Like I said, I think he's smoking something. I think he's clearly high. For the weed nation, I know you're going to get mad, but it was definitely messing up his memory. A few months go by. I have another bedroom set. And I get this phone call, but it's a little different. Hey, man, how you doing? How you been living? You know, at that point, I guess we folk, you know, we friends and everything. I said, oh, well, how you doing? Oh, you, still, you still in Riverdale? Ah, oh, no, no, man. I moved. I had gets from out there. Riverdale is just crazy. I mean, crime was off the chain. That's how he said it. And I said, oh, okay, so where are you? He's like, oh, I'm in Decatur. Where is greater? And I'm just in my mind, just from the, the way that he speaks, I see this guy who's like in his 50s, early 60s, and... I'm not going to say used to be a pimp, but wanted to be a pimp and failed. And I was like, okay, so what did he call him out today? Because at this point, I mean, you know, there, there is no protest. And I understand, I have hung up on this guy several times, but he keeps calling back. Ah, uh, 
yeah, I'm calling about that bedroom set. Uh, I'm in the house. It's a ranch, so there's no stairs. And could you um, deliver it? I can't get to you, but I can pay you when y'all get here. <coughs> Flags. Little men with regular wet red flags just everywhere. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, look, uh, this is my policy. You need to come out. You need to look at it because I put it on the truck. I have my guys bring it in. And you go, hey, well, that's not what I want. Oh, it's not exactly what I thought. So you need to come here, look at it, and we'll conduct the transaction here. Now, understand, I have had people say, hey, I want it. Bring it to me. I'll pay you when you get here. If it was something I could move in the van by myself and I didn't have to pay anybody, I would do it. And there was a few times that I've actually bedroom set, big set, and I've done it. And I've never been jacked on any of that stuff. But it was kind of going by the gut and just the way that they approached me on the phone or email. And this guy had already proven himself to be highly flaky. So I was like, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. And so. Oh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, under I understand. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let me see if I can call Bill and see if, you know, Bill, he ain't usually doing shit. So, uh, hold on. Let me call you back. Give me 30 minutes. Okay. Now, in the ad, I had the address. I had everything. So, like 30 minutes later, I get this phone call. Uh, uh, me and Bill, Bill, we outside. Are you in the warehouse? Uh, I mean, I was expecting like a house, but this is like a big ass warehouse. I'm like, yeah, I'm in the warehouse. Uh, and I gave him a sweet number, and he comes in, and he looks nothing like what I expected. Nothing. Nothing at all. First of all, I thought he was black. He was not. He was white guy. <laughs> totally fooled me. Also, he came professionally dressed in a suit. That was appropriately it fit. It was appropriate. It's I mean, dude looked like he stepped out of Mad Men. And it's just like this can't be the same guy I've been talking to. Then he to open up. Hey, 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 man! I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me, really? And what's funny? He he comes in and he looks at the bedroom set. And he's like, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Then Bill, who comes out. Now, Bill is a brother, and Bill looks like, you know, he would shank somebody. He had that, I have shank and will work on you. Look, I was like, mm, this is a straight up odd ass couple. And he's like, yeah, 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 I don't got to go to a funeral uh, late on in the day, and I just figured I'd do, you know, knock it out. And I was like, Bill's going to the funeral? Yeah, Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> yeah, Bill, Bill going to take me to the funeral. Uh, he probably going to stay, you know, pay his respects and things like that. You know, Glad like said, you know, he ain't normally doing shit, and Bill's just like, ha, 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 that's right, I'm retired, motherfucker, I'm retired. This is, this, I was just sitting there like, okay, this this is crazy. I had actually forgot that I was trying to make money because these two were so freaking entertaining. And he's like, uh, okay, I, I want it, I want it, uh, I want it. So you say six fifty, and that includes delivery. Yep. And... He pulls out thousand dollars, and he gives me a thousand dollars. I said, "But well, it's only six fifty. He said, "I I I see some more stuff I want, and let me you know since you delivering that bedroom set, you should deliver the other stuff, right?" For sure, for sure, yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm just like, this can't be real, and at one point, you know, I, I want to go get the pen right and make sure these hundred dollars are real, and but no, they were real, so. I got $1,000, he picks out a big screen television, he picks out some other stuff, then he's kind of there for an hour, and he sees some clothes, and I just threw the clothes in, I didn't care, I didn't really care. Gives me his name, address and everything, my guys come, he's like at the funeral, he's like I'll call you when I'm heading home, you give me $1,000, I'm going to be very accommodating to you. Oh, sure, sure. So I had my guys ready, and you know it just worked out beautifully. You know, they came and got the stuff, went and delivered it to his house, and then this is where it gets crazy. Um, they come back, and it's like, you know that dude, Rich, right? I said, excuse me. It's like it hit. This is the house was just crazy, just crazy. Um, very nice part of Decatur. 
yeah, you know, get in there and I mean, it's like he, dude, loaded. It's like, what was up? A old school Rolls Royce outside. And it's like, and then it's like, oh yeah, he's on house arrest too. That's like, house arrest? <laughs> It's like, yeah, because they went there and they delivered the stuff and it's like he had an ankle bracelet and told him that, you know, he had kind of got into it with this girl and he had some charges, but essentially it whittled down to he was just on house arrest and, you know, he had another week or so. That's why he went to the funeral. He didn't really care. And um, I don't know how house arrest works, but here's this guy who appeared to be exceptionally flaky, high. I thought it was black, turned out to be a white guy, came in in a suit, was GQ smooth. I'm going to give him his props. He was GQ smooth. And he came with the money. I don't know if there's some drugs. I don't know. Or was he, I have no clue. But I totally, totally, totally thought this guy was a yard bird. And he came back again with Bill, who ain't doing shit, and literally bought maybe seven grand worth of stuff. I don't know his complete story, uh, but he had money to blow. Clear by the times that he called me, he wasn't working. I asked him maybe he was 50, 60 something, have no clue to his background. All I know was after our first few exchanges, he would call and bam, 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 we get to the point. It, it, it's just weird because normally I wouldn't have given anyone any money that hung up on my ass three times. But that's how Craigslist works. You'll have crazy stuff, you'll have great stuff, but, you know, this dude right here, and, you know, he used to come out to the Saturday sales. I mean, seriously, he bought a lot of stuff from us, so it is just kind of crazy. Just goes to show you, they may start off janky, but they can end up like golden. All right, this is Glendon, and this is another crazy Craigslist story.